a shooting opportunity and a goal for Czechia. Provo! Hey, soccer fans. Welcome back. Today, we're diving headfirst into the goal fest that was scored in the UEFA Euro 2024. Trust me, you won't want to miss this roller coaster ride of spectacular strikes and unforgettable moments. So buckle up and stay tuned until the end, because this video will make your day. But before we get started, make sure to hit that subscribe button and switch on notifications so you never miss a video from us. Now, let's kick off. The 17th edition of the UEFA European Championship has officially written its name in the history books. With 117 goals to dissect, let's break down how these beauties found the back of the net. Right foot, 60. Left foot, 28. Head, 18. Other, 1. Own goals, 10. Interesting fact, folks. Left-footed goals made a comeback to under 25% reversing the trend from 2016 and 2020, where they were over 30%. And those own goals? Yep, they're still a thing, with 10 this year, showing how crucial those low, teasing crosses have become in the modern game. Now, let's talk timing. The average time for the first goal was 30 minutes, with an average of 2.29 goals per game. Average time of the first goal, 30 minutes. Average goals per game, 2.29. Although 2020 had a record 2.78 goals per game, 2024 saw a slight dip. Why? Well, European football is getting tighter and more competitive, and with 24 teams, everyone's stepping up their game. Oh, and quick-fire goals? We saw plenty, with the average time for the first goal dropping by 11 minutes since 2016. Clip montage of early goals in matches. This is how these goals were scored. Inside penalty area, including 5-meter box, 98. Outside penalty area, 19 goals from outside the box, made up 16.2%, sticking with the trend since 2016. Teams are working the ball into more dangerous areas, making those long-range rockets a bit rarer, but still spectacular when they happen. And let's not forget the penalties. There were 12 in 2016 and 16 in 2020. In 2020, only 9 out of 16 were converted, showing that goalkeepers are getting smarter and more strategic in facing penalties.